Hello. In this video, we'll be looking at how to put the display into the backup OS or what's called rescue mode in cases where the display fails to boot. So this can happen for a number of reasons, although it's it's rather rare, but if for some reason you've gone in and removed some key component or necessary component of the main operating system, the display may fail to boot. Um, if your application has some sort of infinite loop in it that you've called upon startup, the display may just appear to freeze on boot because of some application that's just executing infinitely and not giving uh, not, not allowing the display to continue its boot cycle. So there, there are different reasons this could happen. But in, in cases where the display is not booting to the main OS, you can force it into rescue mode or the backup OS. And from the backup OS, you can update the main OS. So putting it in rescue mode is how how we have gone over that you should update the operating system. And the main way to put the display into rescue mode, if you do have access to the display through the terminal, is to issue the rescue reboot command. So for instance, I have a, a VC display hooked up here. Um, I can log in and I'll just, so if your display is failing to boot to a, a normal screen, the first thing to check is see if you can log in with PuTTY or any SSH. So see if you can still have access to the display via the terminal. And this is going to be dependent on how you've configured the display's IP address. If it's a DHCP type address, then you, you will need a DHCP server. In a, I've created a video on how to access the display via a DHCP server running on your computer. So go check out that video if you're not sure on how to do this. I use a program called uh, DHCP here, which I have running. And that gives me access to a trace file, which will show the IP address my display is given. It's all covered in that video. If your display is a static IP address, then you should know the static IP that you've set your display to. So what we can try to do here, and, and there's also other ways to do this in our knowledge base. There's a, I'll just mention this quickly. There's an article here in operating systems. Again, this is our support site. Everyone I hope is familiar with this. So uh, finding an IP address of a CC pilot display. So there's some other ways that you can attempt to find the IP address if it's lost. So check out that article as well. But for the purpose of this video, um, I'm going to, so if you do have access through the terminal, you can issue the command reboot dash rescue dot sh. And this will put the display into rescue mode. And if you have access here, I highly recommend you do it this way. It's much, much easier. But there are cases where the display will freeze or won't boot to the point that the SSH server is not started on the display, which means that you will not have access to it through SSH. And to put it into rescue mode, you will need to go through uh, what I'm about to demonstrate in this video. So the first thing we're gonna look at here is the software guide. And I'm just gonna show you the section where we cover this in software update and recovery on page 29. We'll scroll down here. And you can see this section updating from the council, but it also goes through the main system. Um, if the main system fails to boot five times in a row, the backup system is automatically entered. Now I will say this sounds easy and <laughs> it's not that easy, but I will attempt to demonstrate how you would put your display into 
this backup system by forcing it to not start. Now, if your display truly doesn't boot up automatically or, or doesn't boot all the way, it should be easier. So you should just plug power in, let it try to boot, pull power and, and do that five times but I will demonstrate with actually a working display. So my display that I'm demonstrating on boots up just fine, but I'm going to prevent it from booting all the way five times to put it into rescue mode. So here we go with the demonstration. Okay, so as I mentioned, my display is working fine, but we are going to try to force this into rescue mode. So if you've done something to your display that it just can't recover from and say it's booting and, and just freezing up on boot or it's booting to a blank screen and you can't figure out why, sometimes it's good to put it into rescue mode which is the backup operating system and from there you can just reinstall the main OS. So this is exactly the same as going in the command line and saying rescue reboot, which if you can get to the command line, it's much easier to do it that way. So this is a bit tricky and we're gonna try it here. Um, so I'm gonna usually give it about a count of six and I'm just using power. Power and ground is plugged in on my cable here. So I'm going to give it power, give it about a count of six, and right before it would normally boot to the screen would light up, I'm going to cut power to it so it doesn't fully boot. And we need to do that five times to put it into this rescue mode. So a, a backup or system supervisor is monitoring it. And if it sees it doesn't boot five times in a row, then it will put it into this rescue mode, but it's a little tricky to do, as I mentioned. If you do it too early or too late, then you have to start over. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see if we get lucky and can get this to boot into rescue mode. All right, we did it seven times for good measure here. And uh, there we go. So I think we got it. So as you can see, normally the display would boot up, the screen would turn on, but now the screen is completely black and the buttons are blinking. So just, you know, I, I counted about five seconds and then Pulled, so plugged it in, count five seconds, pulled power, and I did that. I think you only need to do it five times, but <laughs> I just went uh, a little above, so I did it seven to try to make sure it, it went in, kick it over. I will say this is like probably my fifth or sixth time attempting this, so it may not happen the first time. You, you know, it does do it, but you have to give it some time. Okay, so as I mentioned in that video, I, I went through and actually filmed that video five or six times that I failed to get it to go into this rescue mode. So again, I would say it's, it's not necessarily easy to get a working display to fail to boot five times into this rescue mode, but it certainly can be done. If your display does not boot up normally, I would still follow the same process, about five seconds, you, you plug power in, wait about five seconds and pull it. And as I think by my number of attempts at this has demonstrated, it may not happen the first time. So, you know, you just have to keep trying and when you 
actually get it to work, you'll, you'll know it works because the screen won't light up at all and the keys will just continue to blink. Now, after you get it into rescue mode, one very important thing to remember is that you're the, in rescue mode, in the rescue OS, the IP address will be set to DHCP by default. So even if in the main OS you've changed your IP address to be a static IP, let's say 192.168.0.100, when you boot it into the rescue OS, it will be a dynamic IP address, which means that it will need a DHCP server to pass it an IP address. So again, if you, I, I've created a video on how to install or not really install, it's actually, you can just run it from your computer, but download a DHCP server for your computer and plug the display directly into the computer, but any wireless router will also have a DHCP server on it, so you can plug it in there and find the IP address by accessing your router. So there are ways that you can get the IP address, but just keep in mind that once you boot it into rescue mode and you're in the rescue OS, the IP address will default as dynamic IP, so you'll need to find the IP to be able to access it. And once you get into, you know, once you log into the display in rescue mode, it looks from the terminal just like your normal OS. And from there, you can update the main OS as is described in this. There's a knowledge base article on it here, I believe, uh, updating the display operating system. So there are several ways to do it there. And there's also a video training on it in updating displays. So updating the OS with USB covers also how to update it. So check out those videos. You can update it from rescue mode. And I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to put it in rescue mode if the display will not boot and you have no access to it through the terminal. Thanks for watching. Thank you.